guys, how are you? We are here today with another video for my creative year for November 2019. This is gonna be a fun one. Simple, quick, and easy one, I think, but a fun one nonetheless. Um, so over in my creative year, our theme for the month is transformation and our challenge word is reflection. Two really, really great words. Um, if you're not a member of my creative year and you'd like to be, um, you can click on my link tree list of links and you'll find my creative years Facebook group link, um, my, a life of art and self-expression Facebook group link, um, where to support the free content here on YouTube with my Etsy shop and my Amazon store, where to just follow me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. So go to the description and click on that, but watch the video first. <laughs> okay, so this month transformation, I kind of wanted to take it a little bit literally. I do want to put these away for, from something I just did. And we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need my thing of words. Okay. I gotta clean up a little bit here. My desk is getting a little bit out of control. Okay, a lot of it out of control. All right, so transformation. So if you follow me, do follow me on social media, you see that I use random crazy bits and pieces all the time in my art, especially when I'm doing things like um, the paper clip, little paper clip art uh, and things like that. I'll insert a few pictures here of the paper clips that I do. Um, I do post them. Uh, frequently, um, I try to do one every day. Sometimes life gets in the way and I'm not able to do that, but I do do them frequently. Um, they're a lot of fun to do, but I do a lot of other sort of little embellishments and things um, where I transform your normal everyday project uh, product or maybe a piece of trash into a little piece of artwork. So this is a domino from a little mini domino game. And we're going to turn this into a pendant. That's not anything new. It's not rocket science. It's been something that's been done before. You just need a couple of specific pieces of things to do it with. Um, and then I have this, I have a drawer of metal things. And this is a little metal, piece of metal. Um, it's already sort of distressed and painted white. I don't know where it came from. Either I got it in Happy Mail or I might have picked it up at a clearance aisle somewhere. Um, it was just sitting in the drawer. Um, and I have this little random piece of um, watercolor that I did for another video like way a while ago now. So we're going to take all of these sort of random things and turn them into um, little jewelry pendants or charms. Um, so let's do that. Let's do the domino first. And I kind of want to put what I'm going to put on the on the numbered side because um, then it'll cover up the dots. I'm going to do it on top of here so I don't get glue all over my mat. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use E6000 for this because the plastic and the metal piece we're going to stick on here are non-porous and your normal ordinary tacky glue, well, that's not going to stick very well. So we're going to just cover it with a layer of glue, put the cap back on that. I'm going to grab, here we are, a gift card and just spread that out a little bit. And then stick. This is a um, bridge score pad. This is actually the cover for my bridge score pad and I love this part here. And I want to put some of that on the front of this domino. So we're going to just do that. And that's how I do my paper clips too, by the way. I just put glue on the paper clip and stick it on there, and then I trim it. So that's how we're going to handle this. That means my scissors are constantly very gluey. Always. I, get out. I, I got asked about that a couple times. My scissor, scissors are constantly covered with glue. People come over, they're like appalled at how dirty my tools are. Sorry. And then just keep giving it a little trim. Try not trying not to move the paper around too much. We want to try to keep it as straight as we can. I'm gonna get a baby white. Off 
some of the excess glue blobs. to stick a word on there. You all know me if you've been following me for a while. I love words in my art. I kind of want to put a word on there. So where's my word thing? Oh, right in front of my face. So let's see if I have some small words because that is not very big. Uh, I don't want that color of word. The color of the word is important on this. Ooh, dream is a good word. You know, how often as adults do we lose track of our dream and where we want to honestly go in life? That's cute. Okay. So the only thing about E6000, if you've used it before, is it takes a while to dry. So you're going to need to leave this sit on here probably overnight for it to be completely dry. When it is dry, you can use it as a charm or a pendant. You can, um, of course, stick a small paper clip to the back of this and make it into a clip rather than a charm or a pendant. These little back pieces, it looks like a flattened spoon, um, and you can get them in different sizes. You get this box with all these assorted colors from Amazon, and I will put the link in the video description. So that's one. It just needs to dry. And then I want to do the other one. We'll leave the words out because I think I probably am going to want them. So this one's a little different. And I want to get most of this sort of leaf shape on here. So I think I'm going to do this. And then we're going to trace around it with a pencil. And then cut it out. Hopefully this will work. This isn't a copy. This is an original piece of art. I have my reading glasses on my head, but are they on my eyes? No. So hopefully this is straight. <laughs> we'll find out. Close enough. It's a little bit big, but we can trim it after we get it glued on. So the same thing, we're going to put some glue on here. Now E6000, of course, will stick non-porous objects down really well in your art, or non-porous to non-porous, um, but it also is very thick and gloopy. And as I said earlier, it takes a while to dry. So, But for some things, it's the best glue for the job. That's my doorbell, sorry. So we're going to stick that on, lift it up, run it around, push it down. Delivery, it can wait a minute. Aren't you all special? Because I don't normally say that. Okay, so let's put the glasses on because you know. All right, so. I would like to give it a trim. Probably is best done with an exacto knife. Oh, let me sit down so my giant fat head doesn't get in the way. So just do what you can to trim it. If you have a less, less complicated shape, and you see this um, in the some of the videos I put up about the paper clips, I don't film all the paper clips, but some of the videos I have put up, you'll see that I usually use simpler shapes because they're easier to trim around. Either that or don't be too concerned that the paper hangs over. That looks pretty good, yep. Do we have a word for that one? I think we need a white word for that one. 
Let's see. I like my words. That's the one thing. I like word stickers. Yeah. Ooh, maybe carpe diem. So how can you take some seemingly ordinary things, trash, um, maybe just things that have gotten lost in the craziness of your art space that you forgot you had, and transform them into something interesting, an embellishment to be used on other artworks, a charm or pendant that you can actually wear or use or carry. How can you transform things that you have in your space? You know what it needs? A little ink around the edges. And the only one I have on the table at the moment is brown. That is not the right color. These are the Distressed Ink Minis. And I'm going to use this scrap piece of paper to test. Yep, this is Broken China. really messy okay so that's good and then again you can take one of these little um, charm pieces or a paper clip and um, turn it into a charm or a clip I'm going to show you three examples of transforming things into artwork that um, I've done on paper clips. So this one here, so everybody's liked this one when I posted it live on social media. Nobody realizes what the flower is actually made out of. Um, and I'm not sure you can tell by looking, but if you look closely, you can see it. It's ha it's. And I've propped it up with some foam, but that is a um, earbud. <laughs> it's an earbud from an old pair of headphones that don't work anymore. And I pulled the guts out and I stuck a flower center in it and then put petals around the edge and then stuck a stem in the open hole. And this is a bread tie. That's a pop top. And this underneath the owl is a pair of scissors. Again, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see though what that is under there. It's an old pair of um, just cheapy in a you know dollar store sewing kit scissors. So see what you think, um, play with what you have, and think about trying to transform it into something new and unique um, that you can use in your art. I can't wait to see what you do. If you guys um, want to share and see what we're doing over in my creative year again, uh, please. Um, Look in the description below to the link tree list of links and the uh, Facebook link for my creative year and my other um, Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, my social media, my Etsy shop, and a bunch of other stuff is in the link tree list of links. So look it up. My happy mail address is in the discussion uh, description too. And any relevant links are also down there. So I would love to see what you guys do. Let's start a conversation over in my creative year, transforming, me, transforming the normal and ordinary everyday object into little pieces of art. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a small thing and it can be a pendant. It can be a paper clip. Um, it can start out as a game piece. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. So I would love to see what you do. Please share. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.